Okay, so here I've got um, a task set up in Google Classroom. It's an assignment. Uh, I'm sending it to all my kids. It's due at 11 o'clock. What I've done is I've pre-recorded my lesson, which only goes for six minutes, and I've posted that to YouTube, and then I've attached the link here. I've told the guys that we're going to mix it up. I'm going to join. We're going to join the meet at 10:25, which is about really 35 minutes after the lesson starts. So we're not going to talk about this until half an hour after the lesson starts. They're going to watch the video instructions here. Then um, I've got a um, sample question in there for them to read. And then I've got here um, a space, for, a document for them to write into. Each student's going to get their own copy of that document. Okay, so what I'm going to be able to do is when um, the lesson starts, they're going to watch this video. And so within six minutes, I can jump into the documents and see if they've started working. So let's have a look. So when this uh, posts, I'm going to go to the student work. So it's now 10.19. I'm going to meet with them in about five minutes time. The student work here, I can actually open up the student's work while uh, we are um, talking here. And you can see here that here's the student. They've started working in the document and this is live. And I can scroll between each of the kids and I can actually see how they're going and see who's going quickly and who's going slowly. And so here as they go, I can see Ellen Carter is in the middle of writing her work. And in a few minutes time, I'm gonna actually open up here. I can scroll between each student's work and I can actually have a look at their answer and I can highlight here so here is the opening sentence. Repetition of will illustrates a hopeful and expected relief of what is to come with the future. So that's a clear topic sentence. So what I can do is live, I can actually comment uh, on that student's work and then move on to the next student. So it's pretty easy and fast to quickly give feedback. Uh, here's Jacob and Jacob has done a little bit more. Uh, and so I can have a look at his topic sentence. Uh, here it says, there will come soft rain creates a sense of time passing through different techniques. And I'm going to say to him that needs to be more specific. Be more specific with your topic sentence. And you can see he's already, he's put his cursor up to where I'm commenting because we're live. And he can see here that I'm in the document with him. I'm going to go to the next student now. And so very quickly, I've given him some feedback. Um, here I can come down to Caitlin. Caitlin's going through and editing her work now. So she's gone a bit further. And I can see here with her topic sentence that might be what I'm focusing on, or I might actually focus in on some of the way she's used some quotes. So here I can see in this line, Sarah Teasdale uses subtle foreshadowing. So she's got a technique in there and she's got a quote. Um, this line sets the tone for the following line. So she's got a, a pretty good use of quotes there. So I'm gonna give her some feedback really quickly and say, um, great weaving of evidence into your answer and comment. So I'm live feedbacking in that document and I can go through my whole class by skipping up here. Also, I could actually just skip down here and see these are all the kids in my class right now. One kid has handed their task in, they're already finished. It's 10.22, so I'm about to go and join the meet and then do some feedback with, the, with each of the kids. So that's a way that you could use a Google Classroom post to live feedback your kids.